Hi everyone, welcome to JustFeg Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information on things happening around the world and you are in the right place. Please click the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon next to it so you can be notified for an update on any published news. Abuja Federal High Court has been asked to declare the self-proclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, Inam de Kanu, a fugitive in the United Kingdom. The court was also asked to issue an order for his arrest and repatriation from the United Kingdom back to Nigeria for trial within 21 days. This is contained in a suit filed by Donald Okonko before the court by his counsel. Abiodun Sodik yesterday also joined in the case at the British High Commission, Department of State Services, DSS, and the Attorney General of the Federation. The plaintiff urged the court to determine the following issues. Whether the first defendant is not under obligation to repatriate the IPOB separatist leader. Magzin Inam de Kanu, being a fugitive com terrorist from the Great Britain, where he has been hiding since September. 2017, under the cover of his citizenship status, back to Nigeria, so he can stand his trial for treasonable felony, among other sundry offenses pending against him before Honorable Justice Mrs. Binta Inyanko of the Federal High Court Abuja. Whether by a true interpretation of Sections 1, 4, and 5 of the Terrorism Prevention Amendment at 2013, the second defendant has not abdicated his duties by failing, neglecting, or omitting to arrest and extradite the IPOB separatist leader, Maxi Inam de Kanu, from the Great Britain back to Nigeria, so he can stand his trial for treasonable felony, among other sundry offenses, considering the bench warrant issued on 28 March 2019 by Honorable Justice. Binta Iyanko of the Federal High Court Abuja for the arrest of Maxinam de Kanu after it was determined that he flaunted his bail conditions. Whether the third defendant, as the chief law officers of the Federation, is not under a statutory duty to advise the President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to severe diplomatic relations with the first defendant for harboring Magzi Inam de Kanu is a fugitive com terrorist in Great Britain, and whether the failure of the third defendant does not amount to abdication of, the, of his duties under the Terrorism Prevention Amendment at 2013. Furthermore, he prayed the court to declare that the second respondent abdicated his duties by failing, neglecting, or omitting to arrest and extradite the IPOB separatist leader, Maxi Inam de Kanu, from Great Britain back to Nigeria, so he can stand his trial for treasonable felony among other sundry offenses. He urged the court to order that the AGF is statutorily empowered to advise President Muhammad Buhari to severe diplomatic ties with the British High Commission in Nigeria for harboring Magzi Inam de Kanu is a fugitive com terrorist. The plaintiff also asked the court to order the first defendant to tender public apology 
to the Federal Republic of Nigeria in three national dailies within 21 days from the date of delivery of judgment in this suit for her complicity in facilitating the escape from justice and harboring of Maxi Inam de Kano in the Great Britain, thereby allowing him to cause innocent Nigerian citizens serious emotional trauma through the instrumentality of incessant threats of violence, breach of peace, and overthrow of the legitimate government in Nigeria. Recall that Kanu had fled Nigeria for the UK during a raid on his Abia residence by security operatives in September 2017. Thanks to all my viewers. I think Inam de Kanu is fighting for good and not for bad in Nigeria. He's also fighting for Igbo people too. He is free to enter any country he wants, but oh, it is only Nigeria government that does not like him. So and Inam de Kanu is becoming a threat to this our corrupt leaders in Nigeria these days. I wonder why they tremble if they are innocent of all these accusations. Why are the Southeast leaders scared to travel abroad? Why are they scared? It is just because their hand is not neat. So it is only the leaders whose, le whose hand are neat, people like Abaribi. From one of my videos that I did, Abaribi said something, that he is free to travel anywhere. He can only say that because he speaks the truth about our present government. But people like Ihe Doha, Rokas, they dare not travel, they dare not leave the country because their hand is not clean. So guys, what are your thoughts? Kindly drop your comments below. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly drop your comments below. Bye.